In this video, you're going to learn how to create a really nice looking motion graphic using the arc shape. So as you can see, we've got some circles just kind of animating in and animating out like that. And you can use these as motion graphics on different slides. Maybe you have a, just one circle over here and over there and just add some nice style and design to your videos. So let me show you how to do that. So basically you would go through and I'll just bring it over to the start and click on the shape tool and then you'll see this arc shape. Okay, so simply click on that and it will bring up this arc shape. And this is a really uh, easy to use shortcut that we've created for you to make these kind of animations. So what I would do is basically um, go through on the animation settings or the properties of the shape and I'm going to bring it up to zero. So you can see you can adjust this angle of the shape. So let's just bring it down to zero and I'm going to drop down the arc animation settings and simply click on the plus icon to add an animation and then select arc angle because we want to animate the angle to create that animation. So I'm going to select arc angle and you can see that at zero seconds that the angle was zero because we set it to zero. So if I go over now to the end of the animation, I want to adjust the property to make it 360 so that it animates in 360 degrees. So simply just drag it across or you could add 360 in the input and you can see we've quickly created a really nice looking arc animation. Okay. Now you can also right click on this and click on easing and you can adjust the easing of this animation. So let's say I want to make it both so that animates in with an ease and also at the art with an ease and let's just preview that and that's looking really cool and one other thing you can do is basically duplicate this animation so that it animates around and then it animates back out like that okay so to do that simply right click on it duplicate reverse and we have that animation all done and ready so let's preview that one more time as well cool Great, so now that we've got this created, this first animation, we've basically done our animating and we can just go through and duplicate layers and create different style, uh, basically the animation. So what I'm gonna do is just change the color first of all. I wanna make it maybe a red color, like so. And you can also adjust the size of this. So let's make it a bit bigger like that. And what I'm gonna do is just go through and duplicate it, okay? So this first one down here, I'm just gonna rename it and call it red. Uh, this one I'm going to call it uh, green and then I'll duplicate one more time and call this one blue okay and I'll just collapse these okay and I'm going to select this one make it a blue color let's say something like this I'll make this one a green color uh, let's have a look I could also go through and just you know hide that so I can see the element and let's make this yeah, something like green like this and you can see we've got our red color okay so we've got all our colors that look really good and all you need to do is basically I'm going to zoom into the timeline I could also just collapse these to see the animations and I could just go through and just offset them so I'm just going to drag this off a little bit drag this off a little bit and you'll be able to see I've got three animations playing inside the same line so that's a fun way you could do that if you wanted to see the other shapes on the way out as well you probably want to just bring this over so that the blue one or well, the top one starts first and then they animate back out uh, individually like this. So let's play this through. Okay, so that's really cool. Um, and based on the example that I showed you at the start, what you could do as well is just bring down the scale. So let's say I'll make this one 30 and I'll make this one 50 like that. And the other one can be 70 or you can make it a bit bigger if you want more space between there and you can see quickly we've created this really nice looking animation um, you could use this on an apple watch that kind of really nice style or you could just have separate circles you know animating on your slides to really create really nice looking motion graphics so hope you've enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed and yeah get started creating this this animation and trying other types of animations inside create studio